this is Jordan Russian from don'tbuythehype.blogspot.com I wanted to uh, let you know and I'll be doing things a little bit differently on the blog. I've been away for about a month. Things got uh, got tight with time with uh, football season and everything so now that we're done we'll be able to uh, to do things a little bit better hopefully. We'll, we'll be, uh, be doing a lot more video blogging than just typing. Uh, obviously I got a little lazy sometimes. It's hard to type. Uh, it takes a lot longer than just sitting here talking so hopefully I don't look like too big of a goof. But uh, hopefully you'll enjoy these, uh, these video blogs that I'll be putting up. Um, I wanted to do this first one as a, uh, a preview for tomorrow's Georgia Georgia Tech football game uh, at ugly Bobby Dodd Stadium, the, uh, the, the joke by Coke in Atlanta. I uh, wanted to uh, just kind of give a preview of that. Uh, obviously, as you can see, I'm a Georgia fan. Uh, this is being shot from my man room in my house. You know, I, I'm a little bit worried about tomorrow's game. I know, uh, first of all, for Georgia on offense, you know, the, the big question is the situation at tailback. You know, Isaiah Crowell is he going to be able to play? Is he not going to be able to play? You know, there's still conflicting reports going out, so who knows what's going to happen. Uh, same thing with Carlton Thomas. He should be available to play tomorrow, uh, barring a, a last-minute suspension, as was the case last week against Kentucky. Um, you know, honestly, you know, Georgia will have a decided advantage um, tomorrow if those two are, are able to play and, and play four quarters. Um, looking forward to, uh, to to seeing how they run the football, the, how the offensive line uh, plays against Georgia Tech. Um, obviously, Georgia Tech has a pretty good defense led by a former NFL coach and Al Groh. Um, but, you know, the best way to beat Georgia Tech is to run the, run the football right at them. Um, it'll be uh, good to see Georgia be able to do that tomorrow, but you know, with, with Brandon Harton and, and Ken Malcolm uh, carrying the Rockets, it's, it's going to be a lot tougher than if Crowell and Thomas were able to do that. So uh, hopefully uh, Crowell and Thomas will be able to play. If that's the case, then uh, Georgia definitely has a decided advantage uh, in that area. Um, Tech has a, a fairly good secondary. They're, they're you know, nothing extremely special, but they've got a pretty good secondary. Um, you know, Georgia hopefully will... Uh, you know, we'll be able to, to hit some big plays. You know, I'm, I'm anticipating Tech on defense tomorrow being able to uh, stack the box, press coverage, and, uh, and, and blitz a lot. I think they'll blitz from a lot of different areas. We'll see a lot of zone looks. Uh, we'll play some press man, maybe on the, on the edges at times in some man uh, coverage situations. Uh, you know, that, that should favor, you know, a guy like Malcolm Mitchell uh, being able to, uh, to catch the deep ball. Hopefully he can get off the, uh, get off the jam, off the line of scrimmage, and, and, and catch the ball there. Um, you know, Michael Bennett in the slot, being able to work man to man, maybe catch some uh, some matchups with a linebacker, um, especially Orson Charles, even uh, catching matchups with a linebacker for the tight end spot. Um, you know, offensively, I, I think Georgia, you know, given you know Crowell and Thomas playing, I think Georgia will be able to score some points tomorrow. Um, you know, defensively, I, I'm, I'm worried just because you, you have to go back and look at you know what. You know the, the body of work has been, especially last year, and, and what Todd Grantham had. Uh, you know, as far as a game plan against Georgia Tech's option game. Uh, you know, the one thing. You know, I know people like to, to to bust on Paul Johnson, and he's caught a lot of heat this week for you know calling. You know, Georgia fans retarded and working at Walmart and all that good stuff. Um, but you know, he, he is probably, if not the one of the best in-game coaches. Um, in, in college football, especially from the offensive point of view, um, you know he had less miles or two that come, uh, you know come come to the forefront in terms of uh, of, of calling, you know managing the football game and, and, and calling a game on offense, especially for Paul Johnson. Um, you know obviously, you know this will be the first year that we face this option offense without a premier B back. You know, uh, Jonathan Dwyer, Toe of the Rock, uh, when, when Tech came into Athens three years ago, it was 45-42. Um, you know, he was able to, to, to carry the Rock and, and you know, and, and do a good job. Uh, David Sims, uh, you know, is not the same as a Dwyer or an Asher Allen. Um, you know, he just is not, you know, that, that quality of a back. Um, I, you know, I think the, uh, the the game plan tomorrow is definitely going to be to uh, to stuff the middle uh, with the middle three. Georgia has you know really you know outmanned, outsized Tech up front on a lot of scrimmage. Uh, hopefully, you know the, the the three down line will be able to eat enough blockers 
to where the uh, linebacker is able to run free and make some plays. I think uh, you know for Georgia to win, it's going to be forcing the game on Tevin Washington. Um, you know he's he's led the team in carries the last few weeks. You know I think he's been averaging you know over 20 carries a game over the last month or so. I think that's going to be best for uh, for Georgia uh, to, to to make Tevin Washington beat them. Um, obviously, we saw you know three years ago that Ronnie Jones could beat us. You know if we, if we run run the alley and don't tackle a pitch man. Um, you know so you know that's that's definitely up for the safeties. Uh, but you know I, I think it's going to be a great game. Looking forward to uh, to, to seeing it tomorrow. Um, you know, if, if I had to pick a score, which obviously I'm going to do here in just a second, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to give Todd Grantham and the defense the benefit of the doubt, uh, just because they have played so well this year. I know this is going to be a different run game. We're number two in the country against the run right now, but this is a completely different scheme than anything we've seen so far this year. Uh, maybe with the exception of Mississippi State, uh, they, they ran some uh, some inside veer. Um, against uh, against the side of the gun, uh, we were able to shut that down pretty effectively with uh, with Ralph in the uh, in the backfield. They weren't able to really get the option game going there. Um, didn't really see much of that, obviously, with Florida uh, last year. Florida demolished us with the inside veer out of the shotgun, uh, but obviously, since they switched uh, to the schematic advantage uh, or actually schematic disadvantage of uh, of, of Charlie Watts' offense, uh, we're able to you know not really see that so much. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, in the end, I think the dogs do pull this out. Obviously, I'm a lot more worried than uh, most people are. Maybe I'm channeling my Larry Munson, my inner Munson, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I feel like this is, you know, definitely, you know, a, a losable game for Georgia. If we go out and make mistakes on offense, if we play, you know, and that's what I'm saying earlier with, uh, with, the, with Thomas and Crowell, uh, you know, if those guys are not playing, you know, we really become one-dimensional on offense, and, and that's really going to hurt us because if we're really going to beat Tech, uh, you know, we've got to take the ball, we've got to line it up and run it right at them. Um, you know, obviously we saw two years ago, last time we went to the flats, that was the uh, that was the way we won. Had 400 and almost 420 yards rushing, uh, and, and again, most of those were straight between the tackles. Uh, you know, ISO plays, power plays, uh, just running the ball right at them. You know, it, it's going to be awful hard to do that. Uh, be successful without Isaiah Crowell or uh, or Carlton Thomas. So you know I'm looking forward to a great game tomorrow. I think it's going to be a great rivalry, just as it always is. Uh, clean old-fashioned hate is what we all call it. Um, you know I, I think that you'll see. You know probably uh, I, I will say Georgia 30, uh, Georgia Tech 24. I think that's what we're uh, what we're looking at. I think if, if Georgia can hold uh, Georgia Tech under 28 points, I feel like we've got a pretty good chance to win. Uh, you know, and, and you know that'll put the dogs at 10 and two. And then uh, after today's result against uh, or today's result for LSU against Arkansas, uh, that'll give the dogs uh, a matchup with LSU next week in the SEC championship. So as you can tell. Hopefully this doesn't look too bad. This is the first time I've done this. Um, I'm running on fumes. I've had about four hours of sleep in the past two days. Thanks, Black Friday. But uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Please, if you have any comments, suggestions, anything, leave them in the uh, the comment box. You'll notice it at the bottom of the website. Um, you know, there's a comment box there where you can comment on each individual article, however you would like. Uh, but again, we just want to make this interactive. Uh, you know, I, I, I wish there was someone else here that I could, you know, at least converse with and make things a lot easier uh, instead of staring into a uh, instead of staring into a camera and talking. But you know, I, I wanted to, you know, at least make this interactive. So please, you know, if you have comments, tell me what you think about the game, who's going to win, Georgia, Georgia Tech, um, and feel free to drop those in the comment box at the bottom of the page. Thanks again, everyone. Good night. God bless. Don't buy the hype. Blogspot. Dot com. Have a great evening.